When the economy crashed in 2008, I um, pretty much lost everything at one time. Um, and just my life just completely changed. Um, lost my home, my marriage, my um, father, and everything financially. And I had been a stay-at-home mom. I had done lots of volunteer work, uh, but I raised four children. And um, I had to just try to, you know, find my way and trust God for what was to come. I had my appointment um, to have a mammogram, and I, I was fine with it. I um, left, thought everything was okay, and then I got a phone call uh, that they wanted to do more tests. And so I went for um, I went for the next test, and it came back where they didn't like what they had seen. Um, and so at that point, we kind of knew something was going on. So then it went from more tests and biopsies, and um, they eventually found that I had cancer. Oh my goodness, there was just so many people that helped me, the doctors. Um, the doctors, the nurses, and staff at the Jesus Clinic, they were just so precious to me. And just, um, they just give their time, their love, and their resources. They are the, um, they are the body of Christ. I'm for sure that if I wouldn't have went to the Jesus Clinic, I would probably even now still have cancer and not know it. Um, so it definitely, um, is one of those things where I know they saved my life. They really, they just care about people. They care about their medical needs, but they care about the person and what they've been through. And um, I love being part of the team. I love being able to go and volunteer and be able to uh, pray with people. There's been so many people that have come into the prayer room that uh, when they're telling their story, I just have to stop and I'm like, this is my story. And you don't expect your story to end up where it can end up. But um, my heart is the same as them. I just want to, I want to be a help. And, you know, be able to go and volunteer and knowing that um, they make a difference in saving lives and, and giving hope and showing the faith that we have in God. They just truly really care for people. We come together before we even start the evening, and we all pray together as a team, preparing for that evening um, to be able to, whatever the need, we're, we're there to, to pray and to help. And so anybody that needs assistance, they need they need to get a hold of the Jesus Clinic and and um, just let them take care of them. Uh, my future is very good right now. I'm um, I do have to have one more surgery and I'm very involved in ministry work still. Um, I still volunteer at the Jesus Clinic and God just provides for me um, financially. It's it still can be a challenge, but um, little is much when God is in it, and He takes care of me. I love Psalm 23. It is my psalm that I go through, and the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He provides in all the ways that I need. So I know whatever my future is, uh, my journey has been hard. Um, losing everything in so many different ways was very hard, but I know it made me a stronger person for God to be able to use. If you're going to give to any organization, give to the Jesus Clinic. That money is going to go to great use, and, and it, I mean, it just makes a difference in so many people's lives.